Hi guys, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to get a part off of the web a website and convert it into a step file and place it into a, an assembly. So, like in real life, when you are creating something in CAD, for instance, a robot, you need parts. So, for FTC, there are two main ways you can get parts. You can either create a custom part, for instance, if you were to 3D print something, or you can get a part off of a company website. So if I go to Google Chrome and I go to Rev Robotics and I go to this U channel, which I want to make my chassis out of, and I wanted to make the chassis in CAD, I could just scroll down, go to CAD, click this, and download the step file. So once you do that, you want to open up file to make sure that it's actually there. Then you want to go to Inventor and click Open. Make sure it's in the right folder. But as you can see here, there is no step file. While earlier I clearly had one, which means that there's something wrong. So this file is very much here, but it won't show up in Inventor unless you make sure that the files of type is all files, which is down here. Now, as you can see, it showed up. You want to always make sure that the files of type is all files. You want to click that and you want to click open. So once you do that, it will show you this little table here. This is basically asking if you want to convert it from a step file into a part file. So you're just going to click OK. It's going to take a while to load because, and then if you go here, it has changed itself into a part file. So then you're going to control S and you're going to save it to make sure that it's all good. And then when you go back to file, you'll see that you have a step file, but then you also have a part file. So then X out because it's all good. And then you're going to place it into assembly. Click assembly, click place imported CAD files. And again, make sure that this says all files. Then you can see that your part will have shown up. You want to click open and then just click. And then you've gotten a part, converted it and placed it into an assembly.